head baseball coach Adrian Yaguas to preview their season. Coach Yaguas, thank you for joining me today. Cool. Always a pleasure. Excited to talk about baseball. And yeah. You know, thanks for having me on. Yes, yeah, so you guys' season's already underway, but w looking at your schedule this season, it's formatted a little bit differently than last season. Less out of region games, a lot less two uh, two game series, more three game series. What was the reason behind that switch? Well, I think well, first of all, you know, we're, we're eleven and four. Uh, hard to believe, you know, we're we're still in March. We got fifteen games, you know, under our belts. Uh, had a nice trip down to South Carolina. Uh, had a chance. We went eight and two down there. Uh, got out on the field. Played well. Um, and then, like you just said, yeah, the, the season schedule format has changed, at least hasn't really changed, just included us now, you know, from the Pennsylvania side to be part of the three game series, you know, within the region. Um, I'm a big fan of it. I think it's a great opportunity to just play within the best region in the country, you know, in, in our opinion. Um, you know, we've just ventured into two series so far. We played Atlantic Cape. We played Sa uh, Salem. Um, every region game uh, is, is always... Uh, you know, uh, a battle. So, uh, you know, we're looking forward to it. It's a little different in the sense that, yeah, maybe we don't play as many of, uh, you know, some of the other teams that we built relationships with as we were trying to fill our schedule in the past. But to be able to get, you know, close to 30 games within the region, um, I think that just benefits everybody. So it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for us. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we saw last season you played a lot of the, your fellow powerhouses like Cumberland, Gloucester, Brookdale once throughout the season. Now you're going to get them three times. Heading into those games, do you plan a little bit differently for games against teams like that? No. You know, I, and I'll tell you, in, in regards to programs like Gloucester, uh, Rowan College of South Jersey, Gloucester and Cumberland and Brookdale, they, they've always played us, no matter what the format was. Mm -hmm. Those programs were always the first to say, hey, how can we work out and get on your schedule? Uh, so we're very familiar with them. And, and if you look at the past history of the region uh, Final Four tournament, I believe it's eight out of the last ten years, um, you know, it's, it's been those four, you know, that have been battling to, to move on and, and have a chance to go to the World Series. So uh, we're very familiar with those. I mean, obviously we play everybody when we can, you know, in the past throughout our region when it would work. But now we all have to play each other. So I don't think we prepare any differently for anyone. Uh, I think our motto has always been here, at least in my time, you know, now 15 years. Let's just try to stay out of our own way and just go out and just try to play baseball because we know on the other side of the field is going to be a very well-prepared team. Um, and we just have to make sure we take care of business on our side. You touched on the Final Four a little bit. Let's take it back to last year. You were in the Final Four. You were up against Gloucester. Obviously, things end, ended up not going your way, and then you faced Cumberland in a very, very tight game. Things didn't go your way. With a little, uh, Do your guys have an extra chip on their shoulders, some extra motivation now after last year's postseason losses? I don't think so. I mean, honestly, um, we've been there before. You know, we've won in those situations, and we've lost in those situations. I mean, I, I think... At least for us, I, I don't know if anybody else remembers this, but we have been to the World Series twice. Um, you know, we've been through those, you know, the region tournament. We know how to win, uh, and we certainly know, unfortunately, how to lose. So um, there isn't any added motivation. I mean, those are great games. Uh, the game against Gloucester was uh, the first round game, was, uh, was back and forth, could have gone either way. Uh, they had a kid hit a big home run late for them, and, and they obviously deserved to win that game um, and moved on to the World Series. And, you know, the battle with Cumberland, uh, that was just a great pitcher's duel, you know, tip, tip of the cap, you know, to, to both guys that were out on the mound, you know, our yeah. guy and their guy, and that could have gone either way. So I, I, there isn't anything that – we don't need anything to fuel us mm -hmm. to be ready to play baseball. Um, but, no, just uh, hope that we can battle and crawl and, and scratch and do enough to get back into that situation because although we do have a history of, of having found our way there, um, you know, it's a heck of a road, you know. So yeah. no guarantees that we'll be back there again, but we're going to do everything we can to try to get there. Yeah, so looking at your roster this year, it's a, you have a lot more of, of veterans than you did last season. Last season was mainly freshmen. This season, you have a lot of uh, veteran experience. Mixing that with your incoming freshmen, how do you think that affects your roster and affects you know the team dynamic? Do you think there's pros and cons to having that much experience? Well, I think, you know, at least the way we try to put together a team, uh, you know, we, we appreciate the opportunity to have these guys for two years. It's always a two-year um, two year project mm -hmm. for us. So last year we knew we were, we were pretty much freshmen across the board. You know, the majority of those guys came back. Uh, we brought in a very good freshman group. Uh, so we're a little bit more balanced. Um, just, you know, necessarily starting and being a freshman last year doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna start and be, a, yep. be on the field this year. I mean, it's, it's a different team, but our philosophy is still the same. The best guys are gonna be the ones that get on the field. Um, you know, initially, obviously, we try to make sure that everyone has a role that, that's embraced and, you know, we were a full unit and a team. But I don't, I don't look at it, at it as if just because we've got 
a ton of guys back that that changes anything. It's a different team. Um, we got good leaders. Uh, I thought we had good leaders last year, uh, but everything's new. So we just hit the reset button and still try to march forward with what we have. Yeah, absolutely. So looking back at last year, there's one more thing I want to talk about for last year. Sure. So last year, towards the end of the regular season, you guys went through a little rough patch. You dropped some games maybe you shouldn't. You had a little bit of a losing streak, but that's part of baseball. You know, that's part of the dynamic. How do you bounce back from those like we saw you do when you went into the first round playoff series against Bergen last year? Well, one, I mean, take nothing away from those, you know, that tough stretch down, down the stretch that we had. Um, I will remind you uh, that COVID kind of hit. That's true. And, uh, you know, we did have some guys that were out during some of those games. doesn't matter. We still lost the games. Yeah. But uh, thankfully, when the seedings came out, you know, I felt the seedings were done right. Mm-hmm. Um, and we had the opportunity to, you know, to host a playoff series and, and do what we needed to do. In fact, uh, I believe threw a no-hitter, uh, you know, yep. in the first round of the playoffs. Yep. So, um, you know, I, I don't think that, that really um, affects or changes or, or changes our mindset. That's just it is what it is, and you learn from it and you move on. Um, I think we're battle tested and we're we're ready to play baseball. Yeah. One more thing about your roster. The last thing I want to talk about. You added a lot of arms. You know, last year one of the weak one of the weaker parts of this team was you didn't have a lot of depth in your bullpen. You didn't have a lot of arms. Now you have a lot more arms. You have a yeah. very very solid pitching staff that I'm very excited for this season. How do you think that will benefit you guys this season? Well, um, I mean, yes, 100. percent I mean, I thought the guys that pitched for us last year especially got a lot of innings, a lot of big innings as freshmen last year. Um, you know, we, we revved that engine a little a little long with some guys last year. And, you know, had we had a little bit more depth, maybe could have been a little bit more, you know, a little bit of a different outcome. So we went out and, you know, we looked at where we were and what we felt we needed to improve. And we brought a lot of good good arms in. We had a great fall with, uh, with the guys that were through. And up to this point, uh, I think pitching is going to be our strength. Um, you know, we have some guys that are top guys for us, but I think across the board, some of the freshmen in the early going have pitched outstanding. Um, I mean, we arguably could, could just just as easy as we're, easily as we're 11 and four. You know, we uh, we lost some close games, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't think uh, that has anything to do with the pitching. I think pitching's kept us in every game. Uh, we were looking at our numbers. We've left 121 runners on base, I believe. I think that's mm-hmm. the, the accurate figure. Um, so we're getting guys on base. We just haven't been real good with our uh, with our timely hitting, uh, situational hitting. So, you know, we've been working on that at practice quite a bit. I think once we can get that going, um, we're going to be fine. We've had some injuries too. You know, like everybody, it's it's uh, it's it's that kind of sports that time of the year. And you know, we're still moving guys around trying to find you know our our our, our set lineup. But um, you know, I think we we're in a good spot. You know, we've got a heck of a week this week. I mean, we've got. You know, weather permitting, we're, we're trying to get our series in with Gloucester. Um, and I'm always the first to say that, uh, you know, the region championship goes through Gloucester. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not ashamed to say that. I'm not ashamed to say that uh, in our locker room. I mean, they've proven it. They've done it. Um, that's our goal. But, I mean, can't look past anybody else. But we've got Gloucester this week. Always tough Middlesex, um, which is a very proven proven team, very well coached. And two days later, you got to figure it out and got to get get on the field with Brookdale. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, and Brookdale again, you know, we're just not only one of the top teams in the region, one of the top teams in the country. So, um, you got to have a very short memory. You got to just be able to turn the page, win or lose, not get too high, not get too low, and just be ready to play. And then at the end of the day, I hope your body of work is enough uh, to get into the postseason. If you get into the postseason, you got a shot. I feel we're built for a tournament, mm-hmm. uh, just based on the fact of you know the pitching that we have. Um, but time will tell. We'll yeah. see. Yeah. And you said something interesting that I, I want to dive more uh, sure. deeper into. Talking about the sh- some struggles you faced early in the season. Last season, we saw you kind of roll more through the beginning part of the season, especially post-Myrtle. Okay. This year, you're facing a little bit more adversity early on in the season. Do you think that will benefit you down the stretch, facing the adversity early? We hope. I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, you got to be got to be big boys, right? When you, yeah. when you put the uniform on, you got to go out and be ready to play. So you can't sit back and make excuses and – you know, and understand that, listen, you know, everything, you can't take a pitch off. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't take, uh, take an at-bat off. Like, you just, you got to be focused, you know, for either 21 or 27 outs, you know, the whole game. Um, so I think, I'd like to think our sophomores know that. Uh, I've, I believe that they do. Uh, I think our freshmen have learned that very quickly already, just in some, you know, the four losses that we had. Um, but, I, again, I, I think everything is there you know, for a positive move forward and a positive, uh, and a positive season. I, I will say this, um, 
really enjoyable group of guys. I mean, we re- we really, as you know, because I know obviously in the role that you play, um, you know, you're friends with a lot of these guys. They're just a really good yeah. group of guys yeah. to be around. They work hard. Um, you know, I, I think some of them are still trying to, you know, m- minimize distractions on, you know, the sophomores with where they're going to school next year. And there's a lot that these kids carry, you know, on their plate. I mean, they're, you know, they're students first, you know, first and foremost. Um, you know, they're, they're obviously, you know, working hard in the weight room, you know, at their skill set, you know, with baseball. And, you know, the freshmen have a little bit of time kind of to figure out what the next step is. Some of the sophomores that haven't yet committed and some have, you know, that, that starts to, to weigh on them a little bit. Mm-hmm. So um, we just try to balance all of it, keep everybody moving forward and positive, trust the process that we have here, um, you know, and everything kind of comes to, to fruition. But I tell you, as I said a few seconds ago, it's, it's a great group of guys that really leans on each other yep. and really picks each other up. Um, so I, I think, honestly, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough goodbye when it's all over. Yeah. You know, so I, I, I remind these guys as I do with most of our teams, but especially this group that, you know, this is the last time this group is ever going to step to step on a baseball field together. Yeah. You know, every year it's a different team. Every year it's, it's different guys. One guy leads, whatever. Um, so just enjoy being around each other, enjoy playing, enjoy playing tough competition um, and just have fun with it. And I think if we can do that and not overstress ourselves because of situations or feeling we got to beat this team or can't lose a series or just play baseball. Trust, trust what you do, and when the time comes, I think we'll be all right. Yeah, you guys definitely have a long season ahead of you and definitely a lot of, a lot of potential this season. Thank you for yeah. joining me, Coach Jaguars. Best of luck this season. Always a pleasure, Cole. Yep. Thank and you. And you can catch all the Spartans home games over on the Northampton Sports Network.